Crohn's disease is a long-term condition that causes inflammation of the lining of the digestive system. Crohn's disease causes tissue destruction and inflammation anywhere within the gastrointestinal tract, but the most common site for the disease is the last part of the small intestine known as the ileum. The small intestine has three sections, the duodenum, jejunum, and the ileum. The small intestine is where food is digested and absorbed in the bloodstream, and the structure of the gut then changes to become the large intestine known as the colon, sometimes the large bowel. The colon absorbs water and contains food that has not been digested, such as fiber. The inflammation in Crohn's disease is due to a foreign pathogen in the gastrointestinal tract, such as the mycobacterium paratuberculosis, listeria, and pseudomonas species. As compared to ulcerative crises where the inflammation is due to an autoimmune disorder. Once the antigens have been presented to the body, the T helper cells produce cytokines such as the tumor necrosis factor 1 and interferon gamma. These cytokines attract inflammatory cells such as macrophages, which continue the production of inflammatory substances. After activation by antigen presentation, and restrained responses of type 1 helper cells predominate as a consequence of defective regulation. T helper 1 cytokines and interleukin 2 and tumor necrosis factor 1 simulate inflammatory responses. The inflammatory cells recruited by these cytokines release non specific inflammatory substances, including arachnonic acid metabolites, proteases, free radicals, and platelet activating factor, which result in direct injury to the intestine. Microscopically, the initial lesion starts as a focal inflammatory filter down the crypts, followed by ulceration of the superficial mucosa. Later, the inflammatory cells invade the deep mucosal layers, forming non cystic granulomas. These granulomas extend across the intestinal wall to the mesenteries and lymph nodes. Neutrophil infiltration to the crypts form cryptic abscesses, leading to detraction of the crypt and atrophy of the colon. Transmural inflammation results in thickening of bile. Narrowing of the lumen and causing obstruction 